Good morning, everyone. All right, so what I felt like doing today was actually doing some more painting on shelves. And so I thought I would share with you guys what I was doing. We'll see how this goes. I'm worried it might be a little bit awkward, but hopefully it all works out for us. So what we're painting today, I painted just this little tiny snowman night scene on a shell. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Sorry, it's having trouble zooming in. Let's see. Hmm not coming through very clearly but that's what we're going to be doing today so it might be a little bit awkward to try and get all the angles so then you guys can see it well but we'll see how it goes all right so what we're starting out with is um just shells from from the dollar store from dollar tree here and so it comes in this pack of shells it has a label on it it has uh, some what is it called raffia that's just tied around it it's just a tie just untie it you're you're fine it's a little bow all right so what we're going to start off with is i have um how many colors did I use? It looks like I used five colors in total. So you'll need a little bit of black. Um, these, these paints I actually got from, it looks like most of them were from Joann's. So just a basics black. And you can probably get away with just basic any, like, um, let me see if I have any of them around. Just the, the craft paint will probably work fine too, okay? So if you have the, like those little bottles that screw off, and sorry, I'm not explaining it very well, but I think y'all know what I mean. All right, so then we have some white. Um, just a tiny little bit of yellow, tiny little bit of the orange and blue. So mostly we're working with the white and blue. And I actually started with a nice dark blue and that will give us our night. And as you can see, this is how I clean my brushes. So I'll show you what I all do. Okay. All right. So that's what we're working with. So we're going to start off with this blue. Oh, and I have just these cute little trays. You can get these at the dollar store too. I think there's like six of them for a dollar. So super inexpensive to go get your hands on. All right, so I actually grabbed the biggest shell to be able to show you guys the best way, okay? All right, so I'm just getting a bit of blue on my brush. I'm just gonna do the top. We're just gonna fill this area in. All right, so like I said, it might be a bit awkward, but filling this in should be easy enough for you guys. Make sure you have a little bit of a flat brush. If you have like a pointed brush, then it'll be a lot harder. So I'm just gonna fill this in and then I'll quickly show you guys. Sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. I don't normally do painting when you guys are watching me, so let's see. All right, and you can see like I've got quite a few swipes on there. If you keep on going over it a little bit, it will help smooth those out a little bit more. There we go. All right, so and just get a little bit extra for the bottom. You know, maybe... all right, there we go. Sorry, something came up on my phone. All right, here we go. All right, so we just got that top painted there, right? All right, I'm just le leaving that kind of like a border, you know, as you see on this one. It just leaves a little bit of a border on it. Okay, I'll probably fix this up a little bit better when once uh, the live is all done. All right, so then I'm gonna grab some white and start working on the bottom area. So I'm not even cleaning my brush, so then we get that little bit of blue and a little bit of the darker, you know, kind of night tones in the snow, okay? So I'm just gonna grab a bit of white Okay, and I'm gonna work on the bottom part. Going ahead and overlapping a bit on that blue is totally okay. And just wipe off, get some more white. Okay, just going over, make sure you guys can see this. All right, looks like we need a little bit more blue in there to give it that streaky kind of feel. All right, and some more white. So this is probably the hardest part, just getting, you know, all the different tones that you want. But really, you know, you just keep on grabbing white, keep on grabbing blue until you're happy with how it looks. Get down in the in the bottom of the shell. And of course, you don't have to use a shell for this. You can totally do this on a canvas, too. I'll make sure I'm showing you guys. Sorry, I do like having a bit of the streaks because then it gives like more motion to your snow. You know, give little bumps and stuff. There we go. All right. Looks a little more oceany. I definitely need some more white. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Definitely looks more like an ocean than snow. All right, so get a little bit more white in there. A lot more white in there. There we go. Now that's a lot more snowy. All right, that's where we're gonna go ahead with. All right, and as you guys have seen me do, I'll just quickly wipe off my brush there. All right, so the next thing I did was I did my snowman 
And so generally, um, generally when you're just trying to get small dots, a lot of people will use the back of their paintbrush. So that's what I'm gonna do, nice and easy. All right, so I got a nice big glob of white. And I'm gonna do the head first. And I kind of want it um, a little bit closer to centralized. All right, so let me see if I can get this. All right, like I said, this one was gonna be a little bit more awkward. So let's see if we can get you guys on a good angle where you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, a little awkward change, but let's see. All right, there you go. If you're having trouble seeing, make sure you swipe the comments to the right. All right, so I'm gonna go like this. Put it right around the center, and if you want a little bit bigger, just kind of move it around a little bit. Kind of getting a wonky head there, but that'll work. No snowman is perfect, right? All right, so I'm getting more on the back of my paintbrush again. And a little bit bigger one. Like I said, I'm shaking a little bit, so these circles are coming out awful. <laughs> That's okay. Once more, it's a snowman. doesn't need to be perfect. All right, so I'm just going to blow on that a little bit. I should let it dry a little bit more before doing the next one, just so it's not blending as much with the blue. But I'm going to go ahead and do it so then this live doesn't take forever for you guys, so you guys can learn how to do this nice and quick. All right, so make sure you get lots of good solid white down there so then you can see that it's part of our snowman. Okay. All right, so we got our snowman there, looking pretty good. Once more, as you guys see, I'm a very messy painter. You should probably have a brush or something, or uh, some water to rinse it, but. All right, so there we go. All right, and then I, let, I went ahead and put the dots around for doing the snowflakes. Now, you could use, if you have a more fine uh, back end, to be able to do the dots, um, but this one's a little bit big, so I was worried about that. Actually, I think... Probably a toothpick would be good for this. So I have um, an end of a toothpick, so there we go. They're super small though. Just putting some snow. Make sure you don't do it too, um, too much of a pattern because then it doesn't really look like snow. And I do tend to do patterns, so mine might not look fully snowy this time. All right, a little bit more. All right, I'm just dipping it in the paint, getting some white there, and dotting it for our snow. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and do our little moon, okay? So once more, like you guys saw, I wiped off the white, and so now we're going to go ahead and grab some yellow. So once more, just a little bit of yellow. All right, and if you want to make it a little bit of a lighter color, you can mix it with white to get a little bit lighter. I'll go ahead with the solid yellow this time. And I did do a little bit of a darker yellow, so then it wasn't too too potent, you know, a little bit more of a, a moon-like tones. Oh, now I've gone and messed up my circle. There we go. All right, so we got a little bit of a moon in there. Okay, and then what I like to do is, so you will need a fine brush for this too, so that's my fine brush. And what I like to do is grab a little bit of the yellow and just put a little bit onto the onto our snowman, just to give it kind of like the moon is shining off it a little bit. See, just a little rounded parts, okay? And then just grab a little bit extra, and we'll put it a little bit on, on our snow that's already fallen. Just kind of blend it in. You don't want it being too strong, just kind of showing that the moon is glowing that night. All right, there we go. All right, and now we're going to go for our super fine stuff, okay? All right, that looks pretty puffy. Once more, it's probably better to let it dry a little bit, but we're not going to leave you guys waiting. All right, so as you can see with this one, sorry, you guys, trying to juggle everything. All right, so as you can see with this one, we have our dots on our snowman to give him his buttons, and they're pointed a little bit more on this side, right? So we're going to do the same thing on this one. And what that does is it gives it the effect that it's kind of turned a little bit, okay? So we're going to do it not right down the middle, but a little bit to the side. So then our snowman is kind of looking up at the moon, okay? All right, so we're just going to do little tiny dots. All right. 
All right, and then from there, we I like to uh, go ahead and get our orange. Make sure I'm getting enough paint on my paintbrush for this little tiny little thing. All right, and so we like to have that nose pointing right up at the moon. So that's not zooming in very well. Okay, there you go. So we got the nose pointing right up at the moon, okay? So let's see if I could do it upside down. All right. We got our nose pointing up at the moon. His nose is a little bit bigger than I would like, but that's what happens when you do it upside down, right, ladies? All right, there we go. All right, wiping off my brush again. Let's get a little bit more black, and we'll give this guy some eyes. Just two little dots. And once more, if you look, they're more to the side, so then he's... All right, I'll take a picture of both of them for you guys. So it's looking up at the moon there. All right, so one really close to that carrot nose and one just a little bit more down so it's turned looking up okay all right and let's get some more black and get some arms on him and the first arm you'll want to come kind of from from the middle well a little bit off to the side just a little bit off center and there we go so he's looking up he's almost waving at the moon for this one and then out the side all right, and there we go. He's all done. All done. All right. Hey, guys. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it was a little bit awkward, the transitions, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the painting. And if you guys have any questions, I'd love to answer them. If you guys are interested in seeing some more videos, then um, you can go ahead and add me as a friend, or you can follow me on Facebook. I also have a group where I've been sharing them in a bit. Um, I'm still figuring that out. But if you'd like to be added to that group, just let me know, and I can send you a link. And I think that's everything. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday, and hopefully we'll see you all soon. All right. Bye-bye, you guys.